So I was flipping through social media this morning and I stumbled across this really delicious looking recipe from Two Peas and Their Pod. You guys ever seen them? It looked delicious and I was like, you know what? I have all those ingredients, so let's make it. So we've got a can of garbanzos that have just been drained. Um, a whole bunch of cilantro. It's, this is, it is what it is. I'm not chopping it any finer than that. And some avocado. So what I'm gonna do with this avocado, um, usually uh, their recipe, they said one avocado. Um, mine are kind of petite. So I'm kind of gonna do maybe one and a half. We'll just see. So I've got it all in here. I'm gonna add this beautiful spring onion because you know, if you follow along, you know I have 10,000 onions in my backyard that I eat every day. Some lime, fun. Now I don't have like a fresh lime from the backyard, so I'm just gonna do that. And some Marissa salt. If you don't have Marissa salt, that's fine. There are previous recipes where you can see all the different things that are in my Marissa salt. You can make your own. Um, and then we've got to like mash this up. Like that looks like the hardest part of this whole recipe. I also have some beautiful um, bread that's toasting because I am gonna put that fabulous mix on some toast. Now, you saw that I made that switch because I was smashing it in this bowl and it was coming along slowly but surely, but it was taking too long. So food processor to the rescue. Let's get this on some toast. Toast acquired. Now I've got a little bit of spinach. I'm just gonna lay that down on my little piece of toast. I'm doing an open-faced kind of business. You wanna do a regular sandwich, you do that. I'm not doing that today. I'm just laying my fun little spinach down. I've got some spinach growing in the backyard, but it's not quite ready yet. I tasted this to make sure the seasoning was okay before I'm putting on here. If you think, oh, it needs a little bit more lime or a little bit more salt, uh, then please do that. I thought it was fantastic and I was ready to plate it up. So, shall we taste? Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's so unexpected. So many different flavors that are fantastic on its own. I love that cilantro in here. And the lime is just lifted. This would be a fun dip, too. If you wanted to do a dip, I would do this as a dip or sandwich spread, or just for anything. I hope you have a wonderful day that's full of something green because it's my favorite color. Bye.